It's a second down. There's a quick throw, and it's a little bit high. That may have been intercepted uh, off the hands of Latidrick Riley and into the hands of Derek Keyes. What are they saying? I think they're saying he didn't catch it. Aggies rushing the ball now, have rushed for 80 yards on 15 totes. Third down. AM perfect on its third downs. They're four of four. Third and five, 13 53, second quarter. And they have called time over on that far sideline. They probably may re- review this play to see if they caught it. It may be a challenge. I am looking for the sideline uh, ring down telephone. And I, where is the white hat? Here's third down for the Aggies and five at the uh, Lafayette 24 yard line. They need about the 18. Here's the throw. That's a catch. That's Riley. Came right back to him. I like that. I to do the 15 too. yard line. Catches one there, and the Aggies now are perfect on their thirds. They're 5 of 5. They lead 14 0. AM over Lafayette. It is 13 34, second period. I formation. On the ground it goes to Lane, it headbutts a man, and uh, they're going to stop it right about the line of scrimmage. They're going to get back to the 15, and they continue to push him back and then down at the 20-yard line. Schrader goes to the left side. Martellus Bennett tied in on the left here on the right. That's Thomas running backs. Goodson to the left of McGee and Javorski Lane on the right. Line of scrimmage again, the 15. Uh, Schrader went in motion. Drops back. McGee, plenty of time. He throws. Schrader he is going to score. Touchdown from 15 out. Oh. And he's just made it 20 to nothing. I love the misdirection. To the left side, they were flooding the pattern. They got Chad Schrader across the route on a crossing pattern. He was wide open. McGee at the last minute looked over to him, delivered it perfectly. 15-yard touchdown pass to Chad Schrader. That's about like last week when he was so wide here on this side of the field going back toward the north uh, end zone. Nobody near him. The uh, the scheme fooled Louisiana Lafayette then. And now the extra point. It's up and it's good. He's perfect for the season. 21 to nothing. The Aggies 12-40. Second period leading the Cajuns here at Kyle Field tonight. Lebanski will kick off. Here it comes. Backing up and now coming up to the seven yard line. Back to the 15. Got by one man to the 20 to the 25. They're on his back. He carried that one out to the 29 yard line. That was a nice little return there after starting at about the seven yard line. That return by Wallace. That was a 22-yard return, so they set up 12-27 to go. Second period, the Aggies now have scored on all possessions, lead 21 to nothing. And Dave, that was a uh, very substantial drive, 10 plays, 71 yards. Now the first two drives, less than 50 yards. The Aggies' uh, defense giving them good, giving the offense good field position. That time they had to drive the length of the field and did it extremely well, picking up uh, that one big third down and five on the slant to Riley. And then the touchdown on the 15-yarder to Schrader. Featherston and Tupe are the linebackers. Babb has got him in a shotgun. Babb will throw. He does. He skipped it into the turf at the 35-yard line, thrown very low. Had a man close by. It was Jason Cherry. Defensively, it was Danny Gore for the Aggies. Is it? All right. Here they are back on the second down, 10. Halfbacks either side of Babb in the shotgun. The left half got it. He will carry out across the 35 to the 36-yard line. That is Levier, Abdul Levier is a junior. One letter from Louisiana. Carried twice, five yards last week. Time, 11:37, Second quarter. Aggies lead 21 to nothing. So about to do on this third. Third and about three. They need the 39. They're at the 36. Levier just went in motion, then he went set, play action by Babb, steps up, going to throw. Now he has been hit. He has dropped the ball. It's on the turf. The Aggies may have gotten it. Was it a fumble? It was. Babb dropped it. Aggies fell on top of it. They have recovered it at the 38-yard line. Apparently, Devin Gregg got the fumble recovery. McGee will move up under center. Javorski Lane flexed out to the left side. Martellus Bennett on the right just went in motion to the short side of the formation. And it will be a it's play action. They fake the reverse. They throw wide open lane at the 15, at the 10. Tripped up and falls across the 6 to the 5. Well, they fake the reverse to Martellus Bennett. And it was kept, and that goes 32 yards. Kept by McGee, and then 
out of the backfield, who had been flexed out, Dave, to the left, goes Lane, and he catches it. And I thought he's going to get in, but they just got him around the ankles, and he was hit at the six, went down at the five. First and goal, the Aggies. 10-32, clock starts. A&M leads 21 to nothing in the second quarter. Give it to Lane. He lowers his head. Did he get in? Touchdown! Yes. He fell over the goal line. He's just scored three TDs tonight. They, they scored on every possession. Well, anybody that was disappointed in this team last week certainly uh, shouldn't be disappointed this week. I think this is a, a more talented opponent, and the Aggies have just come and taken care of business. They are they're hitting on all cylinders. Their special teams are good, their offense is good, and their defense is good. And we've got a raging Cajun down on the field. Schrader will be the holder. Ags now have scored on all four possessions to go up 28 to nothing. Waiting on the snap. There it is. It's down. It's up. And he is good on all of them this year. That just made it 28 nothing. Texas A&M with the lead. And we're playing with 10.23 to go in the second quarter. A&M's about to kick off again. Here goes Zemanski. In under in. This one's going to be a little bit short. The shortest of the night. They back up. And did he call a, I think he called a fair catch. He did. He stepped up. <laughs> caught that at the 13. 28 to nothing, the Aggies. Louisiana Lafayette is 1 and 13 all time against teams from the Big 12. That one win, 1996, against Texas AM at their place. Here they are again. Mark Dodge is in the lineup. Justin Warren in the lineup. That's the linebackers. First and 10 at their 14. They will go on the ground. A little burst of speed as they hit the line of scrimmage out across the 15 to the 18 yard line. Came about 9.25 this morning. I hope all of you got to see it. Here's second down. Ball now at their 18. Cajuns have it. Aggies lead 28-0. We have gone under 10 minutes, making our way to halftime. Bab again up near the line to say something. Three wides on the right, tight end left. Bab, quarterback keeper to the 20. There's a flag down. He's across the 25 to the 27-yard line. That first game, only, only that's really the, remarkable. On the 10-yard penalty, struck it down. And said he could live with, with those especially since it was first game. Second down, they backed it up. Ball back now at the 10, second down 14. Clock rolls, we're under nine minutes. Shotgun running back to the left, two wides right, one left. Sets his pocket at the two, throws, dropped it at the 10 yard line. He was wide open, would have got a little bit out of that. The intended receiver Smith in and out of his hands. I hit him right down the numbers. About the 10 and a half. 8.43, clock stop, the incomplete pass. Babb throwing the ball now, one of seven. High snap, got it, hit as he throws, throws incomplete. He threw it in between two receivers, the intended receivers was Smith, and he never turned around. He drew coverage from Danny Gore. They butted the ball three times, 36-yard average. He will take the snap about five yards deep in his end zone. Here's the punt. It's a, oh, it's a good one. Backing up Schrader. Still backing up, and over his shoulder, he'll drop all the way back to the 35-yard line. Let's see what kind of return he gets. And across the 50, and out of bounds. Going to start again in Lafayette territory at the 40. That's a 54-yard kick, and that was a nice bit of running for Schrader because he had to go back over the shoulder and then get the return to the far sideline. He went 18 on the return. And uh, Santa Clara is also a top-10 team, and Bill Burns said thought they'd won the national championship uh, about two or three years ago. All right, here we go. First down 10, the Aggies. Player got up, walked off the field. Play action, McGee. Cox's his arm, throws. Open is Martellus trying to get away from his man. He will get about seven yards to the 40. Martellus bit it out here in the flats to the right side. Made a spin move. They wrapped him up. Man that got him was Lamar Morgan. And uh, that will net about seven. It's second down three. Here's Tom on the sideline on their fifth possession of the night. Goodson's the running back to the right of McGee, and he puts it in uh, Goodson's stomach, takes it back. He's to the 30, fumbles the ball, got it back across the 25 at the 24. Howard Morrow was there to make sure that he recovered that fumble. That goes 16 yards, and a first down for the Aggies by Stephen McGee. Clock rolling from the 7-12 mark. First down and 10, the 24-yard line, the Aggies in Lafayette territory. Two tight ends, Thomas this side, Bennett on the other. The Tydrick Riley lined up in the backfield. They have a flexed formation to play action. Good block by uh, Javorski Lane. Throw incomplete at the goal line off the fingertips of Martellus Bennett down about the one. Boy, 
Javorski Lane threw a block that time to give Stephen McGee some time to throw that ball. That goes incomplete. That means he's now 10 of 12 throwing the ball, Stephen McGee. McGee pointing something out to his receivers. Take the snap at the 29-yard line, has it, drops back at the 31, steps up, throws across the middle. Good play right there, knocked away from Terry Franks. A nice defensive play. He is by Xanders, Antoine Xanders, a sophomore from Louisiana. It's his first pass knockdown of the year. Now it's third down. Third down, the Aggies perfect on their thirds, five out of five at the 24. Lafayette's into the fields, running back to the right. Two wides left, one to the right. Has the snap under pressure. He throws it, and that's a catch. And the Ags will end up not getting a first down across the 20 to the 20 uh, to the 17-yard line. Pierre Brown caught that. Boy, he threw that under a whole lot of pressure and found a wide open Pierre Brown. Then they closed on him in a hurry and brought him down at the 17. And now Zamansky will come on and apparently kick a field goal with a clock showing 625 and running and the Ags leading 28 to nothing. That's right. It's 43-yarder last week. That was just wide right. Had plenty of leg last week. So Matt Zamansky, the true freshman from just down the road at A&M Consolidated, trying to put up his first collegiate field goal here. We're getting ready for the uh, snap. Schrader is the holder. Here comes the snap. It's down. Here's the kick, and it is straight through the middle. And Matt Zemanski, the true freshman, has his first college field goal, and the Aggies go up 31 to nothing. Boy. All right, let's don't jinx them. We got a kickoff coming here. They've, they've been really good on the kickoff tonight. Here we go. There it is. A little bit deeper this time, and at the five. The top man on the return outside of the 20. He runs into a little traffic there at the 25-yard line. That's a Wallace total lock offense. First down and 10, Cajuns at the 26. You know, you just don't think of Rutgers as being the, the <laughs> team that, that does that to you. There was no fights in the Illini today. First down and 10. He had to move up to the line of scrimmage. They've changed quarterbacks across the 25 out to the 29-yard line. That is Decimo. Second down and eight. They got about two. Clock just hit five, and it's working its way toward halftime. They will have play action. Here's Decimo rolling, throwing. That's a catch. He's to the 35. And that's Melvin Bullock. That ball was caught by Nevels. They're looking to the sideline. They're calling an audible. Decimo talking to both sides of his line. He's down to eight on his 25-second clock. Running back lined up behind him on the right. They just, uh, Kevin Decimo will get a first down, and he's across midfield at the 45, being chased by Peterson. Slows up. They run him out of bounds at the 30. Alden Dixon's in the lineup right now for Texas A&M. I don't see Bullet out there on a quick check, and they go on the ground from the 29 to the 25-yard line. They pick up a four. It'll be a second down coming up. They'll need about six. Decimo. Works his way up to the line of scrimmage. He looks pretty sharp out there. Yes, he, he's a good runner. It looks like he runs better than Bab does. Finroy's back in. He lines up to the right. Finroy. Oh, my, on a fake. It's kept a keeper by Decimo. He spins after a handoff to the uh, running back. I may have been Harrison who got hit and knocked down. Then Decimo goes to the 21-yard line. Not enough for a first down. It'll be third down and two. Leave me alone. Third and one. A little more than one. They're one of six now in their thirds. Clock 240 and running. They have one timeout to go. And a fumble. I mean, he may have been down. It's been picked up by the Aggies and carries back to the twice down. He's, He's down. down, down the There's a flag down as well, Dave. It's all the way back at the 28-yard line. Personal yeah. foul on the defense. Yeah. Unnecessary roughness. Half the distance to the goal. First down. At the eight, first and goal. They look to the sideline and get a call on the play. Decimo steps up, tells his offensive line, and is tied in on this side is Kevin Belton. Has a snap. And it's Decimo on a keeper after a fake to the right side, turns the corner, dives in, touchdown. He just went about eight yards. Decimo came in, a little spark there for him, and just made it 31 to six. Pretty impressed with that guy with a minute 58. They're on the board here in the uh, second quarter. Decimo rushed for three touchdowns last year. A nice little drive right there. Tom will recap it for us in a moment. Here's the extra point. It is up. And it's good. That's their first touchdown of the year. They had only a field goal in four quarters last year, so they go five quarters 
and almost uh, matter of fact uh, 13 minutes into the second quarter before they score here in this one against OU in 4 A&M open with four straight touchdown drives. Here is the sidewinder kick and it's into the end zone. Kerry Franks will take a knee. The Aggies will start first down and 10 at their 20. It'll be their worst start of the first half. They have a minute 52 with which to work. Lane's three rushing touchdowns match his career high. We told you that earlier. He had three rushing touchdowns or three TDs. I think they were all rushing touchdowns against Oklahoma State last season. In the shotgun, McGee's throwing, and he will throw. That's a catch. Thomas near midfield. Throws out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Clock stops. A minute 11 to go. How about putting it in the air to Joy Thomas? Well, he took that one away from Lamar Morgan, who had coverage, and uh, he, he kind of latched onto it after the catch, but 19-yard completion out to the 47 to Joey Thomas. That is Joy's first reception of the day. Had two for 17 last week. First down, pick up the Aggies out to their 47. One eleven remaining until halftime, 31-7. to The Aggies over the Cajuns. Shotgun. It's Lane to his right. McGee throws here to this sideline, and Schrader will step into the Aggie bench at midfield. Pick up a three. I'm not I think he thought that defender was a little bit closer than he was. So he makes the catch and then stops the clock by stepping into the uh, sideline, the Aggie bench at midfield. Second down, seven. Ball at midfield. They need the Lafayette 43. Lanes to his left in the shotgun again. They're coming. We picked up the blitz. We're going deep. Got a man. They're going to overthrow him. That's Irvin Taylor down around the 15. He was up the 20. Ball went incomplete at the 15. Two wides each side. They'll keep Lane to the right of Stephen McGee. Wallace will snap it. He'll take it at the 45. Did not move. Steps up. Throws. First down the Aggies at the 41-yard line. That's a catch. Kerry Franks. They started the clock. They're going to run a play here. They ran it from 55 seconds. A&M's got a timeout remaining. Three wides to the right, two on the left. Empty in the backfield. Turns. Throws. That's uh, Latidric again. A first down at the 31. They'll have to stop the clock now to move the chains. Oh, how about this little drive? This is good, good experience for the Aggies. A one-minute drill and uh, about a one-and-a-half-minute drill, and uh, they've done a good job so far. they got to get the, the uh, chain set. First down, A&M. Ball's at the uh, 31, and he, uh, that's the clock play right there. He takes the snap, throws it into the turf to stop the clock. 37 seconds to go. Martellus Bennett comes off the sideline into the lineup. Second down and 10. There goes Bennett in motion to the left. He throws, and that's Martellus at the 25. Stops, backs up, get out of bounds. No, he's going to go sidelines, and he's oh, tight he roping it. Where did he step out? At the 14-yard line. He was tight roping when he realized, you know what? There's nobody around me after he got by the initial hit, and he went 17 on that one, and then he was tiptoeing down that sideline and went out at the 14. It is a first and 10. The Aggies clock stops 29 seconds. AM leads. 31 to 7. We are winding down the second quarter. You know, on that first play of this drive that started back at the 20 to Javorski Lane, the run, you get a, got a sense that they would be happy running out the clock. Then they start thinking, well, maybe we can take it down to score. And here they are on the 14 yard line. They need just past the five for a first down. Let's see if they get a touch here. 29 seconds to go. There's the snap. He's throwing. He's going end zone. It's high. The Tydrick Riley at the goal line. Second down, 10. Clock stops, 24 seconds. Empty again in the backfield. Two wides left. That's the short side. Open side has three wide receivers. At the 20, McGee's got it. Drops back to the 22. Steps up. He's going to throw, and he's going to throw it away. Threw it into the officers of the day. Nobody made a catch over there like they did last week. Come on, guys. So Here we go on a third down play. The Ags now are six of seven on their third downs. Keeper running back in the block on third and 10. As he snapped, pumps once. Now he's going end zone. He's got Kerry Franks, a little pushing and shoving there, but it's way out of uh, play for anybody. Defender and receiver, no chance. It went out of bounds on this, uh, in the end zone, out of bounds, but on this side of the field. Well, he split it from 35 the last time he tried one for his first collegiate field goal. This is Zemanski. Chris Smith, the deep snapper. Chad Schrader will hold. Here's the snap, the hold. Here's the kick, and it's going to be wide right. He just sprayed really? that one right. Not going to make that one. So the score will stay 31-7 to 7 now with 